It's only when the, uh, the game got, when the tough got going, the weak bailed out. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I said this, uh, when we started this, uh, you know, I, I have to admit that uh, I, I had thought of doing this project several times, and I collected the equipment together. But I was in Southampton to start the investigation. Uh, and I said, no, I can't do this while I'm in permanent employment in the university sector. So <coughs> that, much I had that much confidence in my own colleagues in, in Southampton. So uh, yeah. So you know, speaking about the tough, mm. um, you've toughed it out for this long. You've seen something very interesting here this week. Oh yeah, this is very interesting. What do you think about what you've seen? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, but it, there have been hints of this in the literature. No, other people have worked on related systems and it's quite clear that uh, you, can, uh, you, you can induce nuclear reactions in a liquid. No, I... On the time scale, you see the point is that on the time scale of nuclear processes, liquid behaves like a lattice. It's stiff, it behaves like a lattice. So it is itself subject to the laws of quantum electrodynamics. So I predict that they are going to have the same diffi identical difficulties to the difficulties which we have had. Hmm. Politically. Yes, yes, yes. No, uh, uh, Identical. Wow. It's a very, very similar difficulties. And the, uh, if people understood modern quantum electrodynamics, there would be no difficulty in realizing that this is a possible uh, consequence of quantum electrodynamics. This is what we would expect to see. End of story. But people do not understand. People, I mean, there are people in this community who say, but of course people understand quantum electrodynamics. But they don't. They, don't, they understand it so far, but they do not answer, realize that what is required is to say, oh, right, quantum electrodynamics is like this. What are the consequences of quantum electrodynamics? This is the same thing. And that is going to take time. I hope I shall see you in my lifetime. He's hugging me. Do you really want to see me? So, I hope I have answered. It is not easy to answer your questions. You have. You have. We, we knew that on our, with our limited understanding, we had to solve, we had to uh, still cover the question of the effect of the fields in the lattice on the cold fusion process. We had not done that. We had had some preliminary influence, some preliminary investigations of this, which showed that the problem was very, very difficult. And this is something which Giuliano Preparato understood immediately. He had three uh, campaigns on this, uh, two of them were in France, and uh, Giuliano Preparato at the time came to Sofia and did for this, and I said, I do not understand these results. What do you think? And he said, it's quite obvious what is going on here. This is going on here. Mm -hmm. I said, of course, Giuliano, you're right. He is a genius, isn't he? I think Giuliano is the most brilliant physicist of the second part of the last century. So, does it feel good to see someone be able to take your ideas and really start to make them work? Well, they're working with their own ideas. Uh, Yes, of course, I'm extremely pleased to see the work here. 
Well, I wish them luck. I, mm -hmm. I, I hope they have an easier time than, than you and Stan Oh, that's tough. That's tough. They've got the right degree of toughness to tough it out. And they've got a system which they can engineer. Yes. The main thing about our system is that it is possible to engineer it, but the way we were approaching it, the engineering is really rather difficult. Do you think that the fact that they can engineer the system and they can turn it on and turn it off, do you think that will be substantial in... That's a substantial advantage. And how substantial do you think that will be in, in uh, having it be uh, accepted and respected? Well, yeah, I mean, in the end, if you've got a system which does what uh, is required of it on a repeatable basis, who cares how it works? Have you seen them light a light bulb with it yet? No, why? No, they, they can collect energy. Yeah. Well, I, I, wish them, I wish them great success. It was nice to have you here to have them, have you mingle with them. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I know what I would want. It's the seven lines of research I would like to do on this system. Well, maybe no, you can do no, it remotely. I'm, I'm the rather old. You can do it on You do See, the kind things really over old. here. I'm really old. <laughs> 70, 78 years young? 78 years young. Maybe you can say you're 78 years young or 78 years old, but at 78 you uh, approach things with a certain trepidation. Your spirit's not old. Mm, uh, my spirit's not old, but I am physically old. Well, I suppose that's inevitable for all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah, your spirit's not old at all. <laughs> Lovely girls. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> so how are you? Yeah, I'm well. I'm well. You've got caught in the mesh of this thing. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what uh, mm. what I'll do with this. It's, uh, mm. I certainly don't want to end up in a hazing. <laughs> oh, the physics community. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be the first to grasp this. Oh, incapable. You know, yeah. the, the engineering community... They will grasp it. Yes. Because in the end they say, don't, don't care about the explanation, it's going to be bananas as far as I'm concerned. From what I see, someone who is an engineer can come to this thing, they can look at the devices, they can look at the data collection, mm. they can do some calculations. Mm. You don't have mm. to be an expert to figure this out. Or not to figure out how to make it, but to... to the underlying... The, the, the problem is the underlying theory is difficult. What is that? What are you talking about? Who cares about the theory? I'm saying... I do. Well, I know you do. <laughs> I do. But it's helpful if the world would accept it so they can pay you some time... Pay you for your time to research no, the theory. They, don't they say it's wrong. You mustn't spend... You mustn't do it. You mustn't do it. It's wrong. What does it matter? If it's wrong, it'll die. It looks to me you can... Yes, they know it's right. This is why they want to stop it. You have to ask yourself, what is this curious situation where people actually want to stop this research? That leads to all sorts of uncomfortable questions. But this is... This is it. They want to stop this research. You're talking about uh, outside entities. Mm. Yes. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay? Good to talk to you. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the evening. I will. <laughs>